Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. I took a brief break off last week just to get myself organized. So I'm ready now for some new spring content. And I thought what better way to kind of kickstart that than with the idea of how to achieve effortless style. I believe the kind of key to style is being effortless. Um, and I think there are three fundamental rules or kind of things you should stick by if you want to achieve that effortless look that looks like you've not made too much of an effort, that you've not thought about things too much, but just look chic and relaxed. Um, so let's get into how to do that. So key rule number one is fabrics, textures, and tones. So I'm going to demonstrate this perfectly to you with some Arquette pieces. So this part of the video is sponsored by Arquette. You know what a fan I am of Arquette already. Um, how many times I've featured Arquette on my channel um, in previous videos, on my Instagram over and over again. Um, they're a beautiful brand focuses on sustainability, beautiful fabrics, quality of a quantity, um, and really those pieces that both are effortless and stand the test of time. So I feel like this couldn't be a better fit um, for each other. And I really wanted to concentrate here on these very natural, earthy pieces with the fabrics and tones. So let's talk a bit about fabrics first. And I'm showing you this beautiful linen set that I'm wearing. So I've got it on here. Part of the set is this shirt. And I also have the matching trousers. And I just think worn together, this all linen look um, feels so chic and effortless. And what is more effortless than thinking about natural fabrics, the things that come from nature, the idea of linen um, and that kind of natural texture. Um, there's nothing more effortless than that in itself. So by wearing this, it's so easy to create that effortless look um, because instantly that fabric just feels so natural and organic. And that's the beauty of Arquette as well. Um, these beautiful, kind of natural, sustainable pieces. Also talking about natural, I'm wearing with it this gorgeous bag. So this is a gorgeous, and they describe this as paper, bag with a leather handle. Again, talking about natural materials, fabrics, lends itself so well to that effortless feel. And I think the shape of this bag as well, just kind of having this oversized slouchy style um, instantly makes your outfit feel a little bit more relaxed and effortless. Um, and there are quite a few words like relax that kind of fit in to the idea of being effortless. I then paired it with these leather shoes, which are basically like this kind of woven texture. Again, thinking about natural um, things, this woven fabric um, feels very kind of authentic. These are really easy to wear. I went up a size in these. I always go up a size when it's like a mule because I don't think they need to uh, fit really snugly. I think they look better a little bit oversized. And I'm a half size as well, so that's why I went those. And in Arquette, I usually go for a size small or a 36, which is about the equivalent of a size eight. Usually I like my pieces a little bit looser and our cat does tend to do looser pieces. So I probably could even go down a size to a 34, but I kind of want to keep that loose feel of the fabrics again, which lends itself so nicely to being effortless. And the linen dress that I'm also showing from our cat, talking about fabrics, this just feels so easy and breezy. And I also mentioned tones in this tip as well, I think keep it neutral, a really easy way to look effortless, like you've not made you, you know, too much of an effort, you've not thought, overthought it, um, is to go for those natural tones um, and go back to nature. Blacks, greys, browns, um, kind of, you could go for khaki shades or just kind of muted tones of color as well. Um, you don't have to kind of avoid color, but maybe go for something that feels a little bit more muted and earthy. Um, and by opting for linen, that will instantly make um, a color, something more colorful, feel like I'm a bit more effortless um, and relaxed as well. So really think about your tones and texture. Talk about the tank top in a minute, but again, talking about tones and texture, 
a pair of leather shoes you can't go wrong with. They feel a bit more luxurious and I do think there is an element of being effortless that ties in really nicely with feeling a little bit more luxe and that's to do maybe with fabrics, maybe investing a little bit more in longer lasting fabrics, things that will stand the test of time like a pair of leather ballet flats. These are just so chic and timeless. Um, you'll be able to wear them for years and years and years. And actually, I always think with leather shoes, um, the more you wear them and the more kind of worn in they look, the more chic and effortless. You just kind of throw them on, gives them that look. So these are a great piece from Arquette. So tip number one, very nicely demonstrated by Arquette. Um, don't forget to focus on the fabrics. Those natural kind of fabrics lend themselves so well to the effortless feel. Leather, shoes, linen, woven fabrics, um, things like raffia bags um, and the tones as well of all of those things lend themselves so nicely to that effortless look. So let's move on to tip number two. So this I really do believe is crucial to effortless style and I think Particularly, it lends itself well to going out outfits um, or more dressy outfits. And that is to always have an element of the undone. So this could kind of mean various things and I'm going to demonstrate it in a couple of different ways. So the first look I've gone for is this tank top, again, from Arquette, this is in a size small. They do the best tank tops ever. I love the shape, they're so soft, they wash really well. Um, but I'm pairing this here, this kind of mole colored tank top with these wide leg trousers and a heel. And I think this makes such an easy, effortless going out look, Friday night, out for a few drinks. Um, but there's a couple of elements that I've done with this outfit or that's in this outfit that make it feel a little bit more effortless and undone. So that is the fact that I'm wearing a vest over a blouse. So something maybe, there's nothing wrong with this, but say if it was like a really fancy, frilly satin blouse, I think that would feel a little bit more on the glamorous side rather than kind of effortless side. So talking specifically about effortless style, having that one element of undone like a vest just really kind of juxtaposes and dresses down the wide trousers and the heels and the more evening style look. So maybe think about one piece of clothing you could go for, like the vest. And I've also paired it here with this woven belt. This is actually a men's woven belt from the other year. I loved this belt last year um, and I'll continue to wear it this year. But the woven texture, going back to that, gives it that element of being a little bit more undone as opposed to maybe a bit more of a glam belt with a really shiny buckle or stud detail on it. The kind of woven fabric just makes it feel a little bit more effortless. And I love that contrast of wearing a heel in the evening but kind of shock, not shocking people, but you just provide something a little bit different by going for more of a relaxed twist on that evening look. And with the black trousers together, it makes it feel like a little bit more of a suit. So quite formal and put together, but just by wearing the belt and keeping that on again, makes it feel a little bit more dressed down. And another really easy trick to dress down your outfits and give it that undone feel is by popping on a pair of trainers with more structured pieces like this blazer and these trousers. And another element you could go for is maybe a crossbody bag like this. A crossbody, an instant way to feel a little bit more relaxed and effortless. And the fact that this bag is in the raffia really again makes it feel a little bit more undone and creates that contrast with your more structured pieces um, and then the more relaxed ones like the rattan. And pairing those together I think creates a really, really nice contrast. And the contrast is what makes it feel effortless like you've not kind of thought too much about it you've just thrown it on um, and you're good to go and my third and final fundamental tip to effortless style is keeping accessories minimal 
So I'm going to demonstrate the kind of antithesis of this. We've got a really simple outfit. So I'm starting with this very simple look. So I just wanted to demonstrate here that it's not always about the clothes that can kind of ruin your outfit or throw your outfit off balance. It's oftentimes the accessories. So I wanted to start with this white t-shirt, some denim jeans and ballet flats. So here's an example of accessories overkill. So we started off with a necklace added this clip to the hair, which I absolutely love this clip, but um, all together, I think it's too much. So then we start putting layers on. We've got the belt on here. Then we can add the earrings, big gold earrings, big hoops. Um, then the rattan cross body bag and then adding the sunglasses and the jumper over the top We have a heap of accessories that um, all together feel a little bit too much All of these accessories are quite bold by themselves I think that's another thing to consider when you are thinking about layering up accessories Don't layer up all your bold pieces together. Um, so we've got the sunglasses, which are quite a statement piece, the big gold hoop earrings, the belt kind of speaks for itself a little bit against the white. It's all a bit too much. It's overkill, it ruins the outfit, and it also makes you feel like you've kind of tried a bit too hard um, and made too much of an effort thinking about your accessories. So really keep it minimal um, and take some off. You can mix and match and play around with that. So in the end, I just concluded on an all head to toe white look. I took off the belt because I think it was kind of breaking up the outfit a little bit too much. I wanted to keep the bag on for a nice relaxed feel. You could keep maybe the clip on. Um, I took the earrings off because I felt there was too much around the face with the sunglasses, the clip, the earrings, the necklace. So again, think about sections of your body. How much is going on in each section? Do you have loads going on um, around your head? And think about that and taking a few pieces off um, and keeping it minimal. So you could do that. Keep the sunglasses on if you wanted to, but just bear in mind um, not to overdo it with accessories because I think that really just creates the opposite effect of being effortless. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do if you did enjoy the video. Hit subscribe. I'm almost, I'm literally like one and a half thousand subscribers off 400K. My aim was to reach uh, 400,000 by the end of the month. Um, it's my birthday at the end of the month. So um, I want to kind of hit that 400K mark by then. So if you're not subscribing, um, please, please hit that subscribe button now whilst I've still got you. Um, always leave me a comment with suggestions below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.